Michelle, aka The Woman. I remember three years ago telling my friends and family that I would never fall in love again because there's too much pain that comes with it. I was broken and ashamed and guilty and thought my life was over. I was planning to move home because my career was going to be over and I was ready to leave it all behind. At the last minute, I was told I was going to Charleston and I remember thinking, this doesn't make sense, what's the point? There's nothing for me there. I would never have guessed it, but God knew that I needed you. So here we are on our wedding day. I can't believe it's already here. Thank you for not doing our own vows in front of everyone. I would not have been able to hold it together. I wanted to tell you that I know how much you are sacrificing by picking up your life and following me. I want to show you every day how grateful I am for that. From leaving your job in a place you're comfortable and being far from your family, I hope you know that I understand and I'm thankful. Matthew, I have been waiting for this for a while now and I can't believe that it's happening. I can honestly say that it is everything that I have ever wanted it to be and more. You are the man that I've been waiting for and I'm so glad to have you. You were worth the wait and I want to be your wife. I want to treat you with all the love and respect that I possibly can. I can't believe I get to spend the rest of my life with you, have kids with you and grow old with you. I truly treasure and adore you. I know life won't always be as easy and as great as it seems in this moment, but I know that we will get through anything together. I promise to protect you, even if it means laying down my own life for yours. I promise to work through difficulties with you, even if it's out of my comfort zone. I promise to be involved with our families together. I promise to be there whenever you need me. I promise to be faithful to you in the good times and the bad. Most of all, I promise to love you until I take my last breath. I love you so much and I can't wait to start my life with my new bride and my bestest friend. See you soon. Best regards, AKA, I love you. I have your back and you have mine. We are teammates. You are my best friend. You balance me out so well. Sometimes I just look at you and smile for the simple reason that I can't believe you are such an amazing person and are with me. I'm so glad you picked me to spend the rest of your life with. I love you so much. Love, Michelle. Michelle and Matthew, you've come together to be made husband and wife. As you stand here facing each other with hands joined, look into each other's eyes and into your hearts as only the two of you can do. Matthew, you may now kiss your wife. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great, great pleasure to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Matthew Phipps, husband and wife. lucky lady because he's quite a guy so adore each other and be adorable treasure each other and be a treasure and be so loyal be be the couple that other people look at and say boy I, I wish I had a spouse like like his like hers
but what I truly meant by that was that I always hoped that Shell would find a guy who would bring out the best in her, who would make her laugh, share life's highs and lows with her, be a wise partner in life, and pursue Christ together with her. Uh, so as it turned out, she didn't quite need a Ben. Instead, she needed her own version of Mr. Wright, who was just right for her, and that turned out to be Matthew. Truly though, uh, I couldn't be happier that Michelle has found her forever best friend and partner for life. So welcome to the family. And congratulations to our new bride and groom, Mr. and Mrs. Phipps. Cheers. Yeah.